Hey, it's Joe from JoeCalantonio.com and TestTalks.com. In this video, I want to show you how quickly you can get started creating BDD tests using Java with Selenium using an awesome BDD framework called Serenity. Check it out. I'm going to assume that you already have Java and Eclipse installed on your machine and Maven. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new project using a Maven archetype for Serenity, which is going to create a sample project for us so we can step through all the different pieces of the Serenity framework. So you can do this either from your IDE directly or from a command line. I'm going to do it from the command line. I just find it easier this way. So first I'm just going to go to the directory where I want my project to live. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a filter to find the archetype that I want to create. So this is the command that tells Maven that we're creating a new project and that we want to create a project based on one of the Serenity templates. There's a bunch of Serenity templates, but the one we want to use is for JBehave. There are others also for Cucumber, JVM, and Behave, but I want to use the one for JBehave. So now let's start entering the information that it's asking for us at the prompt. So the first one is just asking us to choose what template we want to use. Because we used a filter, there's only one showing that matches our filter criteria. So I'm going to enter in one. Then it's going to ask for a version. I'm going to take the latest one. For group ID, you can name yours whatever you want, but I'm going to name mine com.joecalantonio.serenity. That's basically going to be your main package name. And for artifact ID, I'm going to name mine my serenity. I'm just going to take the default for snapshot. And I'm going to take the default packaging, which is com joecalantonio.serenity. I'm going to select yes. That's how quick it is to create a project using a template. So now let's open up that project and see what we have. So now I'm just going to go to my IDE and I'm going to import the project that we just created. And because it's a Maven project, I'm going to go to Maven and select existing Maven projects. I'm just going to browse to the folder where I saved my project. And now I'm just going to click on Finish. So after you import it, it's going to take some time to actually download all the dependencies that's in that project to put into your local Maven M2 directory. So I'm just going to wait till this is complete. So once you have your project imported into your IDE, you also need to go and make changes to your settings.xml file. And the settings.xml file is located in your Apache Maven config folder. And in your settings XML file, you just want to make sure at the top you have a plugins group. And in the plugin group, you have you have appointed to the Serenity BDD Maven plugins. Also, you may also have the settings file in your M2 folder. Under your M2 folder, if you have a settings XML file, you also want to make sure you have that setting in here also. So now once it's fully imported, if you expand your project, what this template includes is a demo project. So if you expand your resources, you'll have a default story called Consult the Dictionary. And basically what this does is it goes out to a wiki page and it just verifies that it can find certain keywords and then make sure that the value that they got returned by that is correct. Now once you have the project imported, you have your settings file set up, now it's time to run the project. So I'm gonna right click on My Serenity I'm going to go to Run As and select Run Configuration. And I'm just going to set up a Maven build goal. I'm just going to point to my project. So here's the basic command you would use to actually run this project. Now right now it's going to use Firefox as the default. But what's really great about Serenity, it handles the driver management for you. So without having to write any code, you can also pass this, your IE driver path and location and also your Chrome. And it'll handle... Uh, which one, which browser to use during runtime for you. And to do that, you basically just pass it extra commands. So for Internet Explorer, you would just pass it this extra web driver parameter, and you would pass it the location of that driver parameter. Same thing for Chrome, and also same thing for running remotely. So if you're running against a Selenium grid. 
So depending on where you're viewing this video, I'll have a link for this either in the video notes or in the blog post that's this, that this is referencing. One thing that's confusing right now is that Serenity used to, used to be called Decidities, and right now all the Serenity documentation isn't quite there yet. If you want to see the latest and greatest, head on over to the Serenity reference manual. But if you don't find the information that you need within the Serenity manual, check out the Decidities reference. Uh, the Thucydides reference right now is what has all the different command lines you can use that Serenity understands. So, like I said, what's cool is it handles screenshots automatically. You don't need to write any code out of the box. It handles taking screenshots for you. You can run this against a remote server. You can run tests in parallel. It handles a bunch of things for you out of the box, so it saves you time because you don't have to write code from scratch, which is why I really like it. And really the main reason why I use Serenity is the reports it generates is unbelievable. So this is the report you get out of the box when you use just jbehave. You can code this to make it look better, but this is the standard report that jbehave produces. Now here's the same exact report created by Serenity with no code. It, you, I didn't add anything. I just ran this out of the box. So when you run that project that you just imported, you would see this report. And it, I think it's just a more readable report. It shows all your automated tests. It breaks it down by capabilities and features and stories. You can see what percentage is passed, what percentage failed. And you can drill down into a bunch of different information on these reports. So it's really, really cool. Um, like I said, this report is generated automatically. So another added benefit is you can almost use your test like live-in documentation because you can hand this to either a PO or a manager, and they can step through each of your tests step-by-step step and see exactly what the test was that were run, what it was doing at that given time. So it just makes it really more readable and it really helps people to understand what's going on. They may not be more technical. So you can really drill down on your stories and see step-by-step step what was happening. And if there's an error, if you have the screenshot feature enabled, it will put a screenshot in the report. So that's Serenity in a nutshell on how to get started. Hope it helps.